Hello again, this is Gunnar who uh, continues on explaining these core predictions and uh, closing the loop, so using these core predictions to do an experimental design. So this has to do with the very end of the course and uh, the very end of this modeling cycle that started out with some experimental data and some mechanistic explanations. And then we rejected some of these some of these explanations already here in phase one and some we did not reject and then we went on to do a core prediction analysis and uh, a core prediction is a shared property among all acceptable parameters so i explained this in in the other video in more detail but um, in principle you have some experimental data and you have an ex acceptable model, experimental data, and, and then you find all acceptable parameters. So it's not all parameters, but it's only all parameters that can describe the data that you had here in the beginning. And then when you look for predictions, you look for predictions that are the same, or at least sufficiently the same uh, for all of these parameters. And those shared properties are the core predictions. So in the other video, I explained here that um, if these different red lines are um, simulations, predictions for different parameters, then this would be a core prediction. But here, either of these simulations would just be a suggestion because uh, it's not representative of what has to be fulfilled in order for the model to describe the data. Whereas this prediction here has to be fulfilled if the model should describe the data. So let's now think about how we can use these kind of plots that we have here to, um, to design new experiments, to go all the way back again to the wet lab to do real experiments. And then there are these three different types of reasons. In, in the first reason, it's because you have a model and you want to test the model. So you want to uh, see if the model is any good. You want to gain some confidence in the model. And then, of course, uh, the prediction that you are testing need to be well determined. Uh, and the second, the second reason um, is that you have two different models and you, uh, and you want to do an experiment where you distinguish between these two. So, for instance, like Einstein did in, uh, in 1919, he had two different ideas and he wanted to do an experiment to know that, that if you do the experiment, you will be able to distinguish. So then you need to have the good old physics predictions, so the well-determined predictions, the core predictions. So remember, in, in physics, when you know the parameters, all predictions are core predictions. And then the final reason. It's not that you want to test the model or that you want to distinguish between that model or another model, but it's that you want to determine the model better. You are unsatisfied with the fact that you don't really know the parameters in the model and you want to determine them better. And then you should not uh, experimentally measure a core prediction, but rather the opposite, and a very undetermined prediction. So let's go back to this slide again. And then uh, say so. So this was the core prediction, and here this is uh, this is a good uh, this is a good thing to measure. So we should measure this XP one uh, if we want to test the model. But if we want to refine the model further, so if we want to determine the model better, then we should um, then we should measure X of P two here at uh, time point fifteen or some somewhere where it's really undetermined. So uh, if the experimental data would be here, uh, we would reject the model. And if it's here, we would not reject the model. Uh, so we uh, see that uh, it very much depends on what we get. If we measure X of P1, it depends on what we get, if we will reject the model or not. Whereas if we go over here, if uh, as long as we are in this here rather big region, uh, it doesn't matter what we get, we will still not reject the model. Uh, but uh, it depends on what we get in terms of the parameters. 
So uh, if if we get if we get this value here. Uh, we will be able to throw away all other acceptable parameters, all other parameters that had survived up until now, all parameters here and all parameters that correspond to these lines that were used to simulate these lines. So all of them we can throw away here. And, and this is different here. If we, if, we, if we here would get an experimental value here, uh, we, would, um, we, we would not be able to throw away a single parameter uh, because all of the parameters that could explain the old data can also explain this data. So if what we want to do is to get more well-defined parameters, then we should measure something here. So a suggestion or a beach statement, an undetermined prediction. And if we want to test the model, we should, um, we should measure something that is well-determined. So then we should measure a core prediction. And then uh, for, these, um, for this final um, final issue when you have two different models. So uh, here uh, blue corresponds to uh, uh, different predictions, so different simulations of the concentration of B for one model, and red corresponds to different predictions with, um, with another model. Uh, then uh, what we should do if we want to distinguish between the models is um, to measure this concentration of B after here uh, 40 50 seconds when they are clearly different because uh, because then uh, independently of what we get we will learn something as long as the uncertainty is not too big we will um, we will uh, we will either either we will end up here and then we will throw away the red model and keep the blue model we will end up here somewhere and then we will um, we keep the red model and throw away the blue model, or we end up here or, or outside of these two, and then we throw away both models. And in all of these cases, we learn something. We know that we learn something. Whereas if we would measure something here in, at, uh, at 10 seconds or 10 minutes or whatever the unit is, um, then we wouldn't know that we would learn something. Maybe we would get the value here, but, uh, and then we would be able to throw away the red model. But, uh, but we don't know what we will get. So, so therefore, uh, it's, it's not a good idea to do a measurement here because we don't know if it will, if it, if, if it will teach us something or not. So it's much better, uh, if we want to distinguish between the models, it's much better to measure something here because then we know we will learn something. Whereas here, we might learn something, but we might also not learn something. If we get a value here, we don't know more than we did before, basically. Uh, so, just some final comments, which was also on the original slides on the lecture, that um, when, you, when you do this kind of reasoning about what experiment to do, then you really need to have the biologist uh, there, because he will tell you, can you even measure B? Maybe, maybe B cannot be measured. Uh, and then, then uh, this, is, this is a completely uh, uninteresting, uh, uninteresting discussion for him. Uh, and it might also be that B has already been measured. Uh, and even if you cannot measure B, it might be that B is interesting. So even though you can't measure it, it might be that it's interesting to know something about it. And that's also important. And that is typically what the biologist can tell you something about. And then finally, what the biologist can tell you something about is, uh, is what would be the expected uncertainty of this prediction. So it might be that the uncertainty of the prediction is plus minus three, uh, and then you would get an experimental data that is that has a, an uncertainty that is that is much bigger than the difference, and then uh, and then there is also no point in doing this experiment because um, because uh, you you won't learn anything new from this, so uh, you need to um, you need here really to talk to the biologist. Uh, but um, but uh, uh, when you talk to the biologist, you need to tell him or her uh, what kind of predictions you have and uh, and uh, what the, what the accuracy is. So you need to uh, to be able to distinguish between these different scenarios of well determined predictions and diff and uh, not well determined predictions. So that's it for this little experimental design.